Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to my yarn adventures. The week that was. What have I been up to this week? Well, I can't say I've made a lot, but I do have a couple of finished objects to share with you. A little happy mail and a cow that I'm going to finish up because it's big enough for me. So I got some little happy mail that always makes me smile when I get cards and things. And I got a card from my friend Barbara in Florida oh. and um, I believe it's my first Christmas card there you have it it's a turtle with Christmas hat isn't that gorgeous that's really lovely Barbara thank you so much I hope you're enjoying your time with your grandchildren especially your new granddaughter I hope you're having lots of hugs and cuddles and fun with family it's gorgeous my new first Christmas card I love cards I know a lot of people don't send them they think they're a waste of money but I do send out a few and um, hopefully I'll be organized this year to send out a few so the cat what have I been up to my first finished object is for Lynette charm Grammy crochets and his calendar thing she's doing so this month we had to make a placemat and it had a napkin ring well, I'm not big on placemats or coasters or napkin rings, but I did make something. And mainly because I, it was an opportunity to try out a yarn I have been looking at at a discount store for about three or four months. I've seen it there and I felt it and thought, that's really soft. That's quite nice for the cotton yarn. So here it is. It's a bit of a yarn review as well as a finished object. So there you go. It's called Cast On Cotton Cake. Look. Forgive me, I did colour control this. This is not how it looks. I've actually shoved that inside. But yeah, that's a combination of two different wools to get the colours I wanted. It's 60% cotton, 40% acrylic. They're 100 gram balls. They sell for about $4.99 here. It takes a 4.5 knitting needle or crochet hook. Um, it doesn't tell you what ply or weight I would say it's an, a good 8 ply or 3 weight. It's definitely not a 4 weight. So that is the yarn I have tried. It is made in China. Now my only problem with that yarn was where the factory have joined it, that's how they join it. Can you see those little fluffy bits? And it's quite a distance apart. However, I weighed the balls before I started and it says 100 grams, one had 106 and one had 107. So I wanted, it had to be sort of autumny colours and it's really hard to get stuff like that here. But I did think this would turn out a little bit more autumn than it did. However, here I go. I made a mandala centrepiece for my table. Ta-da! There it is. It's coming up very pink here, but it's more orange. I think it's the light. I have taken a photo of it on my table, and I will put a photo at the end for you had to have a look at. But it is 17 rounds of different stitching. It is from Krista at the Secret Yarnery. She does it. It's a Christmassy one, um, and she does it in Christmas colours. Now, remember, all the patterns tutorials things I use will be in the description below for you to check out but I do really like this doing the 17 different rounds and I don't often make coasters but I may make some coasters with the center bit for a gift for a friend um, but there you have it for charm Grammys um, Annie's calendar cow my first finished object in the year. I would buy more of this yarn. I really like it. I prefer it to Karen Cotton Cakes, to be honest. So I'd say after colour controlling it, I probably have another 100 grams left. It only actually took one ball, but I colour controlled. My next finished object. Well, I'm quite proud of this. You know, I've been working on my amigurumi skills this year and I joined... Amigurumi Wars late and I've had a lot of fun doing it and um, I haven't done one every month but yeah it's been fun and it's hosted by Anita at Y-O-H-Crochet Y-H 
is Y-O-H crochet. I'll get it right one day. Link to her channel will be in the description below. I want you to check her out. Um, now this one was a free pattern when I purchased another pattern. It was a special offer at the time and it is Sally the Jellyfish. Do you want to see my Sally? Ta -da! Here she is. Ta -da! She's got quite long tentacles. I'm not sure I've got the face 100% right, but I would make this again in a heartbeat. Um, I've even thought about making it like rainbow tentacles and all sorts of things. Anita's patterns are so easy to follow. She has a few on sale in her Ravelry shop. I'll put a link in the description below to her Ravelry shop. I highly recommend you try one of her patterns. But I do like Sally the Jellyfish. Ta -da! Now, my problem is who is hoarding all the polyester hobby fill for toys? Who's got it? Because I cannot get any in this town. Only Spotlight, a large box store, stocks it. And there is none. I've tried to buy it online. I'm thinking, oh great, I've ordered one. I need to have them cancel the order the next day. There is none. I've been to all the local charity shops because sometimes I've picked up like half bags that people have donated and it's still been in the plastic and good to use. None. Someone out there is hoarding all the polyester fiber fill. And I need some. I have two more amigurumis on the way go. And one of them is for November amigurumi wars. Sally is stuffed in the head with cut off ends of different projects. Her entire head is full of different yarn ends that I've cut off. And yes, I may have to do my amigurumi wall pattern that way. So I get it finished in time for November. Talking about Amigurumi Wars next year, Anita's considering whether she will do it or not again. She wants some different content creators or pod podcasters to host it. So if you're interested, contact her via her email on her channel. Look, I put my hand up. I want to do one. She's going to change the rules a bit around this year to make it a lot clearer. If she does it again next year so contact her we need some content creators to do amigurumi wars unfortunately i can't enter sally because she's not one of the patterns this month but i wanted to make her so that's sally amigurumi so my finished cow i'm finishing it now we're at week 16 for the luck of the draw and i've measured mine to donate to the charity I donate blankets to, it has to be, we've got two choices of sizes, and I went the biggest size, and I have reached that at week 16. I've probably slightly overshot it. I've yet to decide on the border, and when I have put a border on it, I'll take a picture and show you guys. But luck of the draw, week 16, I'm aiming to pull out now and finish this one. It goes for 20 weeks. I either don't do enough or I do too much, but that is it. And it is lovely and soft. It's all in that um, spotlight cocoon yarn. Um, Raylene sent me some. I had some in stock. It's just lovely. It is so soft. And I actually do like the way the colors came out. I still have, well, I didn't do any ends sewing in, so I've got lots of ends to sew in, which might determine what border I do. But there you have it, guys. My luck of the draw number six is sadly coming to a close. So that's it for all my finished objects this week. I have been making tea towel toppers. Don't tell the management I'm behind on my quota. You may give me a letter of warning or talking to, um, I'm really behind on my quota. I had a big work meeting this week and uh, went later than normal. And I seem to be really tired. I think it's a continuing 
humidity. Um, we had a bit of rain this morning, but it was nothing to talk about. It's the build up. When it finally does clear its throat and really rain, I'm sure we will be a lot less tired. So that's it for me for my yarn adventures and what I've been up to this week. Next week, more tea towel toppers. You'll be checking on me for sure. And I have some other objects on the go, a lot of whips that I want to get finished, including my amigurumis. So if you're hoarding the fibre fill, get it out there and let me buy it. It's not fair. I couldn't believe it. There's none anywhere in town. Okay, that's my whinge over for the day. It's Sunday. I'm cooking a roast beef. Um, Thing is currently doing his beauty parlor treatment on Saxon, our dog, and grooming him, cutting some of the hair off. He's quite good at it. He's um, it's getting a little hot for our dog. And Reeves, well, he's helping me with dinner. But there you go. That's my week that was. Tell me where you find Hobby Fibre Fill. Is there other places I don't know about? And if it's not going to cost me a fortune in freight to get it here, I'd really like to know in the comments below. And yes, if you are interested as a content creator or podcaster to do a host a month of Amigurumi Wars, let me know and let Anita know. I really want to take part next year in host a month. Okay. Take care, stay safe, and remember, you can jump in the ocean and make a sally with me. Bye for now.